it was a political earthquake that really almost no one saw coming from either side of the aisle. Um, think about this. Uh, not all the votes are counted, not all the races are called yet, but it looks like Republicans will control more political territory in this country than at any point in history. Uh, it wasn't long ago that people were writing the demise of the Republican Party. Now, Donald Trump has a very difficult job to do, which is to take a wide swath of the Republican Party, which is in disagreement on many issues, and try to bring it together. Mm -hmm. he, he passed his first test tonight. He, did a, he, he gave a very good um, uh, uh, unifying speech, I thought. So uh, time, t time will tell. He said, I want to be the president for all Americans. He reached out to the world community. He That's touted right. his relationship, his strong relationship with the RNC. Also joining us is Stan Collender, executive VP and national director of uh, financial communications at MSL Group, a former staffer on both the House and Senate budget committees. Stan, first, I'm just curious, your reaction. You watch these things so closely. I think you tend to lean left. Everybody is surprised about it. What say you? Um, I say shocked. Uh, you know, it, it, you, you go with the pollsters, the data, and it was just wrong. Uh, they asked, they talked to the wrong people, the other people voted who they weren't expecting. It's almost a mirror image of 2012 when the pollsters underestimated the black vote here, the pollsters underestimated the white vote, it appears. But um, you're living inside this Beltway bubble, I, I've got to tell you, I was stunned, absolutely stunned. And what little sleep I got was rather fitful as a result. <laughs> well, so you, you asked a good question, which was, where did it come from? Mm -hmm. And Stan touched on it. But I think it's wider than that. This, is the, this appears to be the lowest turnout election since 2000, which means that many of the non-college educated voters who were so fervently in support of Trump, they showed up. They showed up in droves. Yet you, you look at the college-educated voters, and they were disgusted with both options. So many of them didn't end up showing up. Also, then uh, African American turnout appears to be down in a lot of cities. So the combination of uh, Hillary Clinton not turning out Barack Obama's coalition cost her this election and helped Donald Trump propel Donald Trump into the White House. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.